Hi guys, Sarah Helena again, and this is video number two on Ghosts of the Past. So, spoilers ahead. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm assuming that you guys have read um, Ghosts of the Past. If you haven't, final story spoiler warning. Yeah, Ghosts of the Past. Ghosts of the Past. I can't speak. Ghosts of the Past. Um. Why I chose to write it. Um, I love Ziva. I really do. Ziva's one of my favorite characters on NCIS. Um, so, basically, finding out at the end of episode 13 of season 16 that she was alive, I was so happy. I literally was speechless and then, like kind of let out like a scream a little bit but um yeah I was shocked and then I was confused <laughs> and my confusion kind of led into the story um so I watched the episode I kid you not at least 12 times after the initial watch um where I tried to follow points in the story. More specifically, the letter. Um, because the letter was there, and then the letter was not. <laughs> and it really had me questioning, at what point did Ziva get the letter? Because Ziva had the letter and went to read it to um, Robert, who was the kidnapper. Um, and I couldn't figure it out. I was like, when did she get this letter? Because Bishop was aware of the letter and Ziva had the letter. And then that is where I started thinking Gibbs knows more than he's saying. And... I was like, okay, Gibbs knows. Gibbs is the one that gave her the letter from the journal. That makes sense. Um, so I rolled with it. And um, honestly, there was a few different possibilities I was like thinking about going with. Because honestly, it was a theory. And obviously, as episodes went on and now we're well into season 17... Um, we know for a fact just how much Gibbs knew and when he knew it. So I'm not going to give too much away about all of that. Um, just kind of sticking with season 16, episode 13, spoiler wise. Um, but I thought, okay, with Gibbs knowing, when did he know? And I kind of played around with the idea that he knew for the past three years. Um, and then I decided not to make it that he knew for the past three years and that he found out, um, you know, that day type thing during that episode. And I thought, okay, maybe I'll write it that as he was, you know, clearing out the journals type thing that, um, she came back and revealed herself to him. But then I decided to hold off on that. And um, kind of put Gibbs in, you know, the situation where everything's closed. The case is closed. Morgan and her daughter are found. And Gibbs realizes that maybe Ziva was onto something with these journals. And letting herself get personally involved. So, basically, the case is over, and Gibbs now has all these journals, and then Ziva reveals herself to him to get the letter. Um, I thought about making it longer, but at the time... It was just a wild, 
you know, off the whim theory. And so I didn't know how to dive further into it. Um, so I literally made it sort of a short little story. But um, another thing I wanted to explore was the landlady. Because, I mean, we learn a little bit more about the landlady um, as the episodes go on and as we get into, you know, season 17. But um, I wanted to explore her and what she knew because there was something off with her when she said um, that Ziva paid her so um, before her death. So the apartment back door shed almost was Ziva's for, you know, the next, I can't even remember how many years she said. And I was like, okay, there's something odd about that. Um, and I'm like, she a hundred percent knows that Ziva's alive. And I kind of confirmed it, but I kind of gave her, um, that role where she really is sort of that protective person of Ziva. She, you know, we learned that, um, when the NCIS team showed up at the, um, office, um, that, um, the landlady had essentially stopped Ziva from going to the office and invited her into her home. And that, um, while the office is technically Ziva's kind of hideout, um, the landlady's main house is also kind of Ziva's hideout. Um, that if people are coming to her office, like her NCIS team did, then Ziva kind of hangs out in the landlady's main office. So I wanted to give the landlady, um, more of a story. I mean, she doesn't have a huge part in the story, but I wanted to confirm that she had the knowledge that Ziva was alive. Um, because it kind of seemed obvious. Um, and then I wanted to write that Gibbs found out as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, it could have been longer, but I think for me, it worked. It, it worked in this length that it was. Um, so that is Ghosts of the Past. Um, let me know what you thought. You can leave a review on fanfiction.net or you can comment in the comment section down below. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload my latest videos. Follow me on Instagram. Follow the fanfiction account. All of those links are in the description down below. And I will see you all in another video. Bye, guys.